it would be very tragic in, in our lifetime if we lost some of those uh, wildlife resources just through ineptness or apathy. It's going to take it's going to take a lot of different diverse uh, interests working together to protect it for generations, um, uh, hundreds of years from now to enjoy. Wildlife is almost nature's form of art, and I guess the purpose of art is to enhance life. And it enhances the quality of the life I have here. I'm working out in the field, I see a wild animal. It just adds a, quite a dimension to being here. It's, uh, um, I guess there are people who can live without wildlife, but I'm not one of them. We have so much, you know, land that, you know, you can just go and never see anybody for days, months, you know. It's just the openness. It's um, being able to look around and not see another person for 40, 50 miles. It's just the, you know, being able to look up and actually see that Milky Way or the Big Dipper and the Northern Star. Um, it's not, you know, hearing that bull elk bugle at night, early in the morning. It, there's a lot of different stuff that, you know, not only hunters and fishermen enjoy, people that just camp and enjoy the outdoors. This is a fabulous state and uh, wildlife is a critical part of our quality of life here. I think it's real grounding for me. It's just like it sort of just brings you back to what life's all about and just what nature has to offer us and to bring us to a peaceful place. I feel real peaceful and just in the moment. Whether you're looking at wildlife, uh, whether you're out fishing, you're out hunting, bird watching, hiking, you're living it. You're living the dream in Idaho, and that to me is what life's about. What makes Idaho unique to me is all of the access to the, to the, to the land around it. We have a lot of public land, and it gives us great access to it. So just within 30 minutes for most cities in Idaho or closer, you can be out hiking or fishing. I choose to live in Idaho because I have all these places to go and, and recreate. There's still a lot of wide open spaces. As you can see, I was the only one down here. It's nice and peaceful and quiet. And... Well, as far as from a hunter's point of view, there's so many different species you can hunt. Uh, you got elk, deer, bear, so on and so on. But plus uh, the non-game species, so many different species in that. Idaho. Idaho's very diverse, has it all. I wouldn't live any place else. but we have turkeys, quail, uh, deer, moose in the yard. It's just great. The scent of the pine in the morning and the evening. Um, the, the freedom to, to do all the things that Idaho offers in the way of fishing, camping, hiking, canoeing. Uh, it's, 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 for me, it's a dream come true. We 
have people coming from all over the world to come and hunt and fish, and view wildlife, see birds, live the life that we live every day. So if we don't protect what we have now, we can't recreate it. We are stewards of our own land and we're stewards of our own resources, which include the animals. And we have to help them. They can't do it on their own. And if we value them, we have to put our money where our mouth is sometimes and you know, step forward and help out. Right now, it's probably just a limited group helping. And I think all of Idahoans should have a vested interest. If we don't take care of these things, we do not have the foodstuff, to put it very bluntly, that is going to sustain our lives here over a long period of time. And the presence of wildlife and the quality of that wildlife and the diversity of it indicates how that land is being Without effective and uh, very thoughtful and meaningful management by the uh, by the experts, if you will, um, it, uh, it can't take care of itself. You need to be good stewards, very effective and thoughtful stewards of uh, of all of these resources, because the fish and the elk and the antelope and and the, uh, all the wildlife they uh, they're lost. sometimes we have to re be reminded to be responsible. We take for granted or we take advantage or uh, we're not as careful as we should be. We're not as vigilant as we should be and, and we need to be. I think every, every citizen, especially those who partake in the activities, um, are, are stewards. And that, that, that goes from, you know, contributing, if, if not financially, just in, in maybe, maybe donating time, um, looking after, the, looking after the, the places you go, you know, taking care that you, you tread lightly, you, you leave no path or trace behind, and, and you educate and and hopefully enlighten and, and intrigue other people to become involved. All you need to do is take a deep breath, look, observe, and be part of it. Let go and immerse yourself into this ecosystem. And I think once you release yourself from all the hurried worries and all the exigencies of, of daily life, come here, relax, be still and you, it's, it's its own reward. <laughs>